already right now, I have a headache right here. Wow! Hello everyone, it's me Bo Shevsu coming to you today with the DJI goggles. Now these are the racing edition and these, I'm just gonna tell you right now, are not worth it unless you are exclusively racing. Now, if in fact you are racing, odds are you probably don't have the Mavic Pro and yet these are designed for the Mavic Pro and uh, if you are, let's say, doing real estate photography, uh, like me, for example, you're probably thinking, hey, these would be really, really cool to pop on like so, and then I can actually see in this incredible 1080p lens in here, my actual real estate photos. But I'm going to, I'm very sorry to you, break the news that these will be more annoying than anything. I've used them on a few shoots thus far, and well, right now my drone is up in the air and you may be like, Bo, how come you're not wearing these guys? They look so cool. They're, so, they're something out of Star Trek, right? Well, that's because I don't trust them. And so I thought to myself, you know what? I don't want to hit any trees around here. And yet you will see with these that you can only see straight ahead. And you're like, oh, but wait, Bo, there's a cool little function on the side right over here, this clunky little touchpad, which is horrible because every time you move your goggles up like this, you're pushing all of these buttons all the time. And so it's horrendous user interface. And you're just gonna pop these up like this and say, I'm gonna look at the controller because these, the only purpose they serve is to look straight ahead. And if you're doing any kind of video or photography where you're lining up the drone, then you're gonna be going to the left, you're going to the right, you're going back. You're not just going straight forward, which is what the purpose of these goggles uh, achieve, is to look straight forward. Uh, if there are trees or buildings or, or power lines nearby, uh, you're gonna take these off because you're gonna actually want to look at the drone. And then maybe you're gonna look at the screen and you're gonna adjust some, some aperture settings to make sure the lighting is right. You can't do that when these are locked onto your head. So I guarantee you, if you use your drone for photography or video, do not get these because I guarantee you, you're just gonna end up returning them like I am, which is a shame. I really, really wanted to love these. I love virtual reality, love being immersed in there. I thought, oh, this is gonna be a whole nother ball game. It's gonna be like I'm actually flying in the drone. But there are so many other variables when it comes to photography besides actually seeing what is straight right in front of you. There's so many other variables. Adjusting this, left, right, up, down, back, forth, um, you get, get battery life. You know, if you want to hit return to home, let's say your battery is getting low, you just have to quickly hit return to home and get back before it just automatically lands in some bushes. You can't do that with these things. So you're just gonna rip these off your head and just use the controller. So if you are going to invest four to $500 into your drone and photography, I uh, get some other accessories like um, a, a little box to put over the screen of your phone or iPad, whatever you use to actually fly with so that it can you know, block out shade. Something far more economical and something that will actually benefit you besides overpriced heavy goggles, which the only purpose they serve is racing. And if, in, if, if you're into racing, more power to you. That's fantastic. But for photography and video, one out of five stars. Do not get these goggles. Maybe someday they'll have goggles with like a rearview mirror or something so you can actually see like, oh, there's a tree or a telephone pole behind me. But I don't see that coming anytime soon. So I'm sorry to burst your bubble if you were looking forward to these, if you were a real estate photographer. But that's the cold hard truth. My name is Bo Shevasu. Catch you later.